Today, we're going to be showing how to install Fedora and how to make a backup save of Windows in case if you want to go back. Now, we're going to be using something called Ventoy, and it's probably the best thing I've ever seen uh, since basically sliced bread. So, why? Well, if we go ahead and load up Ventoy, it is basically a bootable USB but you just drag in the ISO and it works. You just have to drag in the ISO. You don't have to flash it. So you're going to go to downloads and whatever you're on, Linux, Windows, or yeah, probably just, yeah. Not, or if you have a live CD, you could probably do that. You're going to go ahead and click on the windows.zip on the latest one. Alrighty, Ventoy is downloaded. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to downloads, right click, we're going to do extract all. Double click, and basically you're going to do Ventoy to disk. Uh, you'll have a uh, UAC pop up, and then all you're going to do is just put in the USB drive. Here, I'm going to put on the. You're going to put in your USB drive, and yeah, let me get this all sorted out. Into the computer, right there. That USB port, you want to put it in there. That's where you want to put it. And as you see, mine's already installed with Ventoy. Yours most likely will not. Just go ahead, press refresh, and then you're just going to do install. That's all you got to do. I'm going to do update because mine needs to be updated. See, that didn't even take a minute. Say you want to do the workstation. Go ahead and click download on the ISO, the live ISO. After this is done downloading, is you're just going to drag this onto the Ventoy disk. So this would be an ISO file. You're just going to drag it in here. And then you can just eject it, and you're good to go. That's all you got to do. Alrighty. Now, what's probably going to happen is we're going to have to restart our computer, and we're going to have to get into BIOS. Um, yeah, and so essentially what we have to do is you'll have to figure out what your boot keys are. You'll probably be able to tell just based off of whenever you restart. However, if it doesn't show it up on BIOS, like it will for me, you're going to have to just search it up and see what it is. It might be Escape, it might be F2, it might be F9. For me, it's F12 to get into my boot menu, so I'm just going to spam that. I know you only have to like press it while it's in, while it's in post, but spamming it's way easier. So... Yeah, now you have a couple of options, depending on what you have. You may want to do Legacy or uh, UEFI, um, depending on what you want to use. If you just want to use a Legacy system, just use Legacy. But if you don't even have access to use UEFI, then it doesn't matter, just like the USB drive. Uh, I will use UEFI, so I'm just going to select USB, UEFI. Now I have two of them on here, and these ones are Debian and Fedora. And all you have to do is just select the one that you want. If you want Debian, just click Debian, but I'm going to do Fedora. Go to normal mode. And then we can go ahead and just do um, test this media and start Fedora. Oh, what's going on? Ah, that's why. <clears throat> you actually just want to do start Fedora. You don't want to do a test unless you unless you want to check the sum of it. Then you can. Alrighty, cool. We are now booted in into Fedora. We can actually just try this or we can just install it right now. I'm just going to do install it right now to hard drive. And we'll get this menu pop up. Go ahead and select your language and your keyboard language. Now you have a couple of things here. What you want to do is you want to click on system and you want to click the drive that you want to use. Now for me, I know that I don't want to use I believe it's my two terabyte drive because that one's used for my backup files. Let me go double check though, because I may be wrong. Yeah, my two terabyte drive is SDB2. I just want to use this one, which is my, not my NVMe drive, but it's going to be my other hard drive, which we're going to be installing on here. Uh, we have a couple of things we can do to encrypt my data, or we're going to do field stage by, by shrinking permissions. I'm just going to do this all automatically. 
and we're gonna do done. Alrighty, and then you just want to do begin install, and it will just install it. Now I'm not gonna install this on my system since I don't want to install Fedora on here. But if you do get any errors, please uh, refer to Fedora's website. Um, however, this is all you have to do to boot in and get the installation ready to go. And I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys later.